Yeah, no. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Today should be a lot of fun um, for you guys. I have a couple spiders that I need to rehouse. They are both true spiders, and they're both a little bit on the venomous side. Of course, all spiders, all tarantulas are venomous to an extent. These two are a little bit more, I'd say, significant than usual. So of course we have Holly. She is a black widow, and she's gonna be a good girl. She never causes problems. She's very docile. She would never bite me unless, like, there was something went terribly wrong. So I'm not too worried about her, although she is definitely among the most venomous. So this other one I have is a little bit more unpredictable. I've never worked with this species before. It is a tiger wandering spider. Now, a lot of people hear wandering spider and they relate it to like the extremely venomous Brazilian wandering spider. It's not the same, it, this is not the same. Um, the venom is not as potent as that. Although I'm not really sure where it really falls on the spectrum. Like I don't believe it's like deadly or anything like that but I think it might be somewhat significant I'm not really sure so because I don't know for a fact I'm just gonna be pretty cautious with this one but I did hear from a couple viewers that keep the species that they do get kind of bitey and I think they can move a little fast as well so we're gonna be pretty cautious with this one just because I don't really know what to expect but yeah it's really beautiful and I can't wait to actually get a good look at it outside of this vial so let's get started we're gonna be using this tarantula cribs this is the terrestrial meat medium cuboid. Heads up, this is an arboreal species, but I wanted to test giving it like a terrestrial setup, but still with the same amount of space from like substrate to ceiling. And I thought I'd just test it out. Yeah, so I just kind of want to give it a little bit more space and see what it does with it. So nice thick acrylic and super tiny ventilation holes, which I love about these. Ventilation holes are perfect. As with most spiders, they tend to like some substrate. I don't believe that this will burrow like at all, but I'm still going to give it a nice little inch or two of substrate just to hold that humidity in there. Now most spiders like live plants, so of course we're going to do a live plant. Ooh, and it is really dry. Now I think that the spider will really like the plant because it spends like almost 100% of its time on a leaf. And this one has many leaves to choose from. I have this big piece of cork, so we're going to just break it a little bit, shrink it to this small little piece. And finally we are going to add some leaf litter just all around like this. It's pretty simple, but I think this will work out really well. And we'll just put in a few little, whoop, few little springtails. All right, well, I think that this one is ready. Really just don't know what to expect, but it's a really beautiful spider. I'm sure you can barely see it. It's right on this leaf. Be as careful as possible. I have these, so maybe I could easily just pull the leaf it's on out but we gotta be careful. I'm gonna carefully just move this. Honestly, I feel like it's behaving really good. So I think as long as I let it keep its leaf, it's not gonna put up too much of a fight. I'll try to get you a better shot once, once that happens. Okay, okay, there we go. Woo! Scary. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. What a dramatic person I just was. Look at it, wow. that bad that actually went pretty well next we're gonna do holly my black widow i don't know if you remember how small holly was when i unboxed her there she goes beautiful she fits in here perfectly but she was like half this size and then she molted like two or three times almost back to back and just like grew almost to this exact same size that binks is so here's binks and this is binks's enclosure and this is one of my favorite enclosures i think we've done and i've seen a lot of you guys try to recreate it which makes me so happy i freaking love seeing them like for real tag me if you recreate any enclosure but i want to make another enclosure pretty similar to it but i want to do black roses i thought it would look cool with black roses so i went to michael's i got a bunch of black roses which michael's is also where i got the red roses i also got more of these sticks now i got this also from michael's it's like a big branch and then it has these little ones 
coming off of it. And what I'm gonna do is just pull the tops of these roses off. They come right off just like that. And we are going to arrange them in a circular motion like I did for Binx's enclosure. All right, so there is the black roses and I think that turned out pretty good. So now let's go ahead and start adding the moss and other things. I'm just gonna put like a thin layer of substrate on the bottom, not too much, just a little. Just that much is perfect. So now let's fill the bottom with moss, just frog moss, that's good. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in these little sticks. All right, looking good. And we're just gonna add one more little thing. Um, so this was gifted to me by House of Lee Spood at Tinley and I thought this would be perfect for my Black Widow tank because I had this in mind. So we're just gonna put it just like this and yes, I am so happy with how this looks. Oh my gosh, this looks so spooky. What do you guys think? Okay, I love it. Let's compare it to Binx. Now Binx has webbed up and pooped all over and whatever, but yeah. That looks pretty freaking cool, doesn't it? Ah, this is gonna be so awesome. I cannot wait to see what Hallie does. I hope she webs right here. So unfortunately now we have to like get her out of here. Oh my gosh, she is, she is quite large. Look how big she's gotten, it's crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh. There she is. All right. So how are we gonna do this? <laughs> oh my goodness. She's not gonna like this. Here's that. Yeah, no. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Okay, so now the problem is, is I can't reach her. She really just does not want to get in the cup. There you go, there you go, there we go. All right, there you go. Oh, I feel so terrible. That was so traumatic for her. I'm gonna give her a little, little, oh, oh, there she goes. Wow, that was the fastest I've ever seen her move. Here she is, wow. And now she has so much more space, like so much more space. Check out the size comparison between the mini and the medium. That is definitely a much more significant amount of space for her. She's gonna have so much more room to web because she certainly was running out of space. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. I honestly felt like this video was gonna be a little bit more difficult, but we, we got it all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram news probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into our Patreon pet picks.